Hey, filmmakers, Canon Prince here. The moment we've been waiting for has finally arrived. Epic Game has released the preview version of Unreal Engine 5.6. And let me just say, the amount of revamp and work that they did on MetaHuman is insane. Um, so I just wanted to jump into it real quick and kind of show you a little bit of, of what's going on uh, in this new version and then show you a little test I did so that you can um, start to see the possibilities um, that are possible. Now again, this is the preview version of 5.6. You can download it and use it, but it is not the full public build version. I'm assuming that'll come out in the next couple months. Um, and some things will change, but hopefully all of this will be in there and even better. I also heard rumors that they might be adding Lumen hardware ray tracing in, uh, which from the tests that I've seen that like JS Films did, the output is just as good as doing an export in path tracing mode, except it takes three minutes instead of four hours. Um, so exciting stuff, let's dive in. So again here, uh, Unreal Engine 5.6, you can install it in your library if you don't already have it. And then once you jump in, so the biggest change is they've started something called uh, MetaHuman Character. What this is, is it basically has brought the MetaHuman Creator into Unreal Engine. So used to, you would have to go to the website, the MetaHuman Creator website and, and do stuff. And then you could tweak some of the things, um, but not everything. And then you'd have to import it in. And so now it's all inside of Unreal Engine. Now this character is already rigged. And before I shot this video, I tried to unrig it and so that I could show you some of the stuff, but then it crashed on Real Engine because again, this is a test build, so lots of crashes. Um, but so I'm not gonna unrig it, but I will show you like first right off the bat, this is insane. So these new characters enable you to download 2K, 4K, and all the way up to 8K texture resolutions. And these are, just look amazing. Now you can build uh, metahumans inside of here from scratch or from the models that they have, you know, that just like when you're using the website, you can also use old metahuman um, characters and tweak them. And you can also use things that you've modeled in Blender or something like that, as long as your base was built on the metahuman topology. But if you look, this is it. It, you know, has a lot of the same lighting um, and different things. You know, you can come in here and change the lighting. Um, and I mean, it just looks like night and day difference how good this thing looks. I mean, the just the pores and all of the stuff, the hair, the little individual hairs on the ears, the freckles and all this. I think there's like a... 175 skin textures that you can use now. And then again, I can't do it because she's already rigged, but basically, you know, we have all these same tools that we had in the original MetaHuman Creator online, but two times a thousand, like this face sculpting tool, you can, you can sculpt every single little facet of your model and you can do it for the entire body too. So I'll just, uh, kick her over to clay real quick and uh so we can we can show her but basically this is this is the the body and you can tweak the entire body now to like the the thighs the arms the neck the head the chest the abs the the wrist the feet the calves all of it you can tweak all of these things and really customize your character um to you know exactly what you want. Um, so that is amazing. Again, I think this is a maybe a 2K texture right now. Let's throw the 4K texture on her just so that we can see it. And it'll apply this and then boom, she's got that. And it also has these, uh, 
you know, like the web version, we have these template animations. You can come through and play these sample animations. And she is, she's looking angry. And now she's scared. You know, so we have these samples, but you can also now drop in specific animations that you have. So if you have, uh, like I have this course animation, it's just gonna play a little bit, but this is the animation that I'm gonna show you in a second. So you can preview your own animations now as well. So this is huge, right? Now, the thing, in my opinion, that's even bigger than what they've done here is now they just released the new plugin for this, which is this, the MetaHuman Animator Depth. Okay, so it's different from the MetaHuman plugin that we used to have to install. Uh, now there's a new one in the Fab Store. You can search for it and find it, download that, install that to the engine. And then what that does is enables you to use any video to create motion capture. And I gotta say, like, this is the game changer. You know, I first thought, well, you know, how good is it gonna be? You know, I've done tests with like Live Link and, and recording stuff with the depth camera on the iPhone. And that works, you know, really good. Um, but the idea of just being able to take any video and drop it in to create a performance could be really useful. So I decided to test it. And I gotta be honest, like, it, it blew my mind. It really did. So to test it, what I did was I pull, I took a video from my filmmaking course that I recorded maybe a month ago uh, that I just shot on my iPhone, um, not using, you know, any of the Unreal stuff, just a video that I shot on the camera. Um, and I dropped it in. So I dropped so this video in, right? I'm taking you through. Uh, this is the video the that I used. And walk you through all the different negotiation points. But I just wanted to uh, talk real quickly about something that I found throughout the process, especially. Okay, so that's the video, right? Just me talking to camera. Now, what I did was I brought that in. Um, I used that and had it make, turn that video into a performance capture. This took less than a minute and my system is running a RTX 3070. It's not a terrible card, but it's not a four series and it's not the new five series. It's a 3070 and it's not even, you know, it's a 70, it's not a 90. Um, and it took less than a minute to take that whole video and turn it into performance capture. Then I brought it in, you know, I brought the MetaHuman into the world, set up my camera, added the animation and things like that. And then um, here is the result. So I've taken you through the contract and walk you through all the different negotiation points. But I just wanted to uh, talk real quickly about something that I've found throughout the process, especially when it comes to distribution contracts. I mean, like, it, the, the amount of detail that it's doing, okay, it's, it's capturing my head moment, movement, it's capturing these teeny details of the lips. It looks amazing. This is in the 4K, right? Uh, 4K texture, not even 8K, just 4K texture. And I'm not even in epic mode um, visually because the 3070 can't handle it across the board. I think I'm in medium and then I have some certain things at high level, but not in cinematic, not in epic. And this is what we're coming up with. So. I did that and I exported it. Again, this was super quick. And then what I did was I dropped, you know, my usual workflow is design inside of Unreal Engine, then bring it to Nuke, add, you know, th those organic things that we get when we shoot on actual cinema lenses, you know, refractions and aberration and vignetting and things like that. I did that. 
And then basically I had this really nice looking video of these this woman's lips with my voice. So then what I decided to do was take the audio from the video and head over to Eleven Labs, which for those who don't know, is a AI uh, audio program that can you can type stuff and, and choose voices and it'll make like AI voices. But one thing you can also do is take existing audio and change the voice. So I took the audio over to Eleven Labs, dropped it in my voice from this video, and then gave it a female voice uh, to see how it how it sounded. Uh, it sounded amazing as well. And then what I did is I took all of that inside of DaVinci, which is where I do all of my, my post stuff, and I synced it up. I had to adjust the sound a little bit. I, I either had to speed it up or to slow it down slightly to make it match perfectly. And then I did a quick little color grade on it and outputted it. So I wanna show you the final now. So this is the final version out outputted from Unreal Engine, gone through Nuke, 11 Labs Audio, and then color graded and outputted and synced uh, inside of DaVinci. So I've taken you through the contract and I'll walk you through all the different negotiation points, but I just wanted to uh, talk real quickly about something that I've found throughout the process, especially when it comes to distribution contracts. Like, again, the amount, the amount of detail that these lips are doing is insane. And again, this is, this is just that new plugin taking a video and and figuring out its own depth in information to do this. And then towards the end of the video, like this is, I just did this off the raw unedited version. So there's times where I'm like trying to figure out what I want to say and stuff. And even the way that it does this is unbelievable. And it's the, the metahuman is understanding from the video, from the motion capture and from the voice even seems to be understanding emotion and 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 same with 11 labs it's like it's capturing the emotion of things so i'm gonna i'm gonna play some more here to the film because the distributor was in breach of contract on numerous counts that we had negotiated with the contract and luckily, because we had spent so much time negotiating all those points and all of those safeguards into that contract, we were able to get the film back, get the rights back, and release the film another way. Um, so, you know, through that process, I learned that you spend all this time negotiating the contract, and then you spend all the rest of the time trying to enforce it. So I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Be aware of that, be prepared for that, you know, be, do. Right there. So right there is the most amazing part of this video. The, the little way the lips are moving as I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna say next is mind blowing. Like for those of you who have worked with MetaHuman and, and tried to do your own motion capture and stuff, this is a game changer right here. So let's just watch it one more time. That, you know, do whatever you can <laughs> to negotiate your contract and to make sure that points are in there to keep you safe. But just know that, you know, you will probably have to stay on top of people to um, to enforce those things that uh... so yeah so again you know unreal engine 5.6 preview version is out now if you're brave 
download it, start playing around with this stuff. It's only going to get better by the time the, the actual release comes out. And this is what I've been talking about and what I talk about in my filmmaking course and my virtual production and AI technologies course. Like, this is paving the way for someone to make an entire movie in their apartment as like a one person band, you know, designing the environments, designing the characters, shooting videos, giving all the performances themselves, animating all of those inside of Unreal, taking those videos and audio, dropping it into Eleven Labs, changing all the voices to the different characters. Like, I'm so excited to see the the possibilities and the opportunities that this creates and the stories that we start to see from people that we would have never heard from. Um, so, you know, like this video if you like this, if you are interested in, you know, me doing a video where I dive more into like a full walkthrough of how to do this and stuff, let me know. I'll do that, um, you know, leave any comments. I'll, I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. And in closing, I'm just gonna play a little video that'll just, you know, kind of swipe through from the original video to the metahuman output with my voice and then into the final uh, one that we just watched there. Thanks guys. But I just wanted to uh, talk real quickly about something that I found throughout the process, especially when it comes to distribution contracts. contracts. Like, contracts are, in my experience, you negotiate, you spend all of this time negotiating a contract.